Rumors of tunnels linking Buckingham Palace to various other parts of London are prevalent. As we've already said, it's unlikely that a tunnel exists, linking the palace to the tube. An underground link-up with Whitehall and the Houses of Parliament is plausible given the warren of Whitehall tunnels that are known to exist, but unproven. Other unproven rumors include a tunnel between the palace and Clarence House, former residence of the Queen Mother, and a branch of the post office railway running right under the palace. Buckingham Palace is the holder of the National Collection of Mulberries. The whole palace is built on a site where King James I had a mulberry garden planted in an attempt to rear silkworms in the 1600s. He was unsuccessful, as he had purchased the wrong species. The famous balcony has hosted various members of the royal clan on all manner of occasions, including as the site of a 34-year-old Prince William getting a telling off from Granny. The tradition of the royals appearing on the balcony began with Queen Victoria, who made an appearance there for the opening of the Great Exhibition in Hyde Park in 1851. The appearance at the end of the Trooping the Color celebrations was a tradition introduced by George IV. Buckingham House, which once stood on the spot where the palace now stands, was once considered a potential site for the British Museum, but it was considered too expensive. The garden is the oldest helicopter pad in London. Sort of. A helicopter was first landed in the garden just before Queen Elizabeth II's coronation in 1953, not on an official helipad, but in a helicopter landing area, which continued to be used for many years. Nearly 50 years later, in 2000, the royal family had had enough of the lawn being destroyed by helicopter landings, so an official helipad was built in the gardens. A concrete helipad was considered far too unsightly, so the royal helipad was created from a layer of matting underneath grass. By comparison, the heliport at Battersea opened in 1959, and London's air ambulance has been operating from the top of the Royal London in Whitechapel since 1989 putting the royals well ahead of the trend in helicopters. Buckingham Palace wasn't immune to the effects of the Blitz. It was hit nine times, some of them when King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, later the Queen Mother, were in residence. The palace chapel was destroyed by a direct hit in 1940, at which the Queen Mother was reported to have said, I'm glad we've been bombed. It makes me feel I can look the East End in the face.